Hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Marianelli and as you already read by today's title, I will be doing an update on the Burbs Curl Foaming Mousse. So I recently did a video on my first impressions on the Burb uh, Curl Foaming Gel. So if you have not seen that video, I will leave it on the card so you guys can check that out because this video is an update of that video. So I just want to say thank you to those of you who commented on the video letting me know about your experience using the product. So as you guys already know, I had a lot of flaking on day two, three. So a lot of you commented that maybe this product is not meant to be used on dry hair because the instructions on the back say to use on wet hair. So I always use foams to refresh. That's the reason why I was so excited to use this product because I always use a foam to refresh my hair, either foam or mousses. So that's the reason why I was so excited to use this product because I knew it was gonna come in handy for my refresh days. On my comments, I don't have other people saying that they had uh, flaking too. So I'm wondering what happened. Maybe I applied a little too much product, I'm not sure. So I wanted to remake this video, uh, sharing my results using the product again. So like I said, I like to use foams or mousses to refresh my hair. So here I have some of my favorite foams and mousses that I use to refresh my curls and I looked at the instructions on all of these products and all of them say use on damp hair none of these products say to use on wet hair so for example I have the flora and curl sweet hibiscus curl foaming which is this one here I this one has actually two directions it has direction for dry hair and damp or freshly washed hair so for dry hair it just says apply light to dry sections and then for option two which is damp or freshly washed hair apply to damp hair then style as usual then I have one of my favorite mousses that I love. Uh, this is Drugstore. This is from Aussie. This is the Instant Freeze Mousse 24 Hour Max Hold. I use this mousse a lot. Uh, I use it on a lot of my refreshes. If you have seen my reels and my shorts here on YouTube, I always use this product to refresh. It's one of my favorites. It's affordable and I really like how my curls look when I refresh. So this one also says in the back for directions, just work this product through your damped hair. So another mousse that I've been using from Aussie, this is the Head Strong Volume Mousse. The directions on the back also say work this product through your damped hair. So again, a damped hair. And then another one of my favorites, it's from Maui Moisture. I love this stuff because it gives me a really good hold. It's the Maui Moisture Flexible Hold Coconut Curl Foam Mousse. So this one in the back also says, and apply to damped hair. Once again, we have another one that I use. It's from Cake, the Thick Trick uh, Foamy Mousse. So this one says, apply to damp hair. Uh, this one also that I like to use is from John Frida, the Freeze Ease Curl Reviver Mousse. Also distribute evenly through damped hair. So I don't know what the science behind this is, but maybe because it's a gel foam, that's why it flaked on me. I'm not sure. I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna retest this and reuse it and just see how it works out for me. So in my previous video, I used only a leave-in to style and I clearly needed more moisture on my curls. My curls are very dry, so I definitely needed more moisture. I definitely did love the volume this product gave me. The, the volume was really, really good, amazing. So if you're looking for volume, you're gonna love this product. So today I wanted to use this product without using any other burr products. So today I'm just gonna be using some of my favorite drugstore products. So for a leave-in, I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This one here, this is one of my favorites. I love how thick this cream is and it gives me a lot of moisture. And also for my curl cream, I'm gonna be using the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Curl Cream. This is one of my favorite drugstore creams, hands down. I love this stuff so much. I have repurchased this like three times already. I actually bought one of these in El Salvador and it was very pricey. I still have it because I cherish it. It was about $12.99 super expensive i mean compared to the us when you buy this in the drugstore it's like three dollars so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'm just gonna go ahead and style my curls and then i'll be back to show you what it looks like because i don't want this video to be too long like i said this is just an update to my previous video So once I was done diffusing, I just added two pumps on my Burb Ghost Oil all over my hair and that was it. And then look at my results. I fluffed on my curls 
and look at how much volume i get this product gives me so much volume i love it like seriously day one hair with this product is so amazing and this is what my curls look like on day one so bomb so much volume i love it Alrighty, so today is day number two, and this is what my curls look like. As always, I always sleep with a pineapple. Let me shake them up. This is what I usually do to like move my curls around because they look kind of weird after I put them in a pineapple. I have some hold, as you can see. Um, I still have a lot of definition, which is really good. Um, on this side, I have also a little bit of hold and. Like I mentioned on my other video, this is my drier side and this is my more hydrated side. So as you can see the difference on both sides, this one has a lot more definition and not so much frizz. As for this side, I have a little more frizz. So I definitely need a little refresh on this side. Some of you commented on my other video that you guys used water and then a little bit more of the foaming gel to refresh your curls. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So I'm not gonna, I don't want my curls like super soaked. So I'm just gonna add a few pumps of the foaming gel, like three pumps. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the back since my back section always gets very dry and frizzy. Okay, so that's enough for that side. This side doesn't need much, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and just apply a little more product. add more water just because I don't want any flaking on my hair from the product like last time okay so now I'm actually going to diffuse really quick because my hair is pretty wet and I just want to leave already I have to go out with my mom so I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse really quick for like five minutes alrighty so I am done I still have a little frizz for my liking for being day two hair. I still have a little frizz. So I'm just going to do a little half up, half down hair style. Okay, so here I still have like a little frizz. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my curls are a little undone, but we're just going to go with it. Like I said, it's day two hair, and I usually don't have to really refresh um, when I style my curls with a different gel. I don't want to deal with it because we're just going to go with it. Honestly, for me, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion because for me, I honestly love a strong hold. The reason why is because my curls last longer. I don't have to refresh. And you can always break the cast with a gel. So don't be scared to use a stronghold gel because you think like you're going to have crunchy curls. You're not. Break the cast with an oil and you're going to have soft curls. For me, I don't usually style with a foam. Like on my wash day, a foam is not what I grab. Like I said before, a foam is what I grab to refresh. So when I'm on day three, four, five, or whatever, I want to refresh, I'll use a foam. The hold wise, honestly, for me, for my liking, I feel like this is a light to medium-ish hold. I would prefer more hold. I like more hold. Maybe my curls are just so dry, but like I said, the products that I styled with, the drugstore products, are my go-to products. They're very hydrating when I use them with other products. I just feel that if I use this product, I need another product to back it up. So maybe a, another mousse or another foam or something like that. I will definitely be using this product for volume because it gives you amazing volume. If you're looking for volume, you're gonna love this product. 
but for me next time that i use this product i'll probably be using mousse and then if i use a gel i'll probably add this on my roots just to give me that volume that it gives if you have wavy curls and you like that light hold you're gonna love this foamy gel um, if you're a stronghold type of person like i am you're probably not gonna like this product so much but like I said, it all depends on your preference. So like I said, for me, honestly, I will be only using this product just to give me volume uh, besides me using another product on top of it because for me, it's not a one, one and done styling product for me, for my curl type. Maybe for other people, it is like on the comments that I saw, some of you are in love with this product and I'm so happy it actually worked out for you. But like I said, not all curly hair types are the same. But yeah, guys, this will conclude my final review on the Verb Curl Foaming Gel. So I forgot to press record on day three hair, so I don't have any footage to show you of my day three. But let me tell you really quick. So I still had a little bit of frizz. I had more frizz than day two. Because like I said, I need more moisture. This product is not so moisturizing for my curls. Flaking wise, I had no flaking. So definitely you need water to reactivate this product. So if you're gonna use it to refresh, you definitely need to add water to your hair. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that because I wanted to let you guys know that the flaking happens if you use it on dry hair. So I can use this product on dry hair. You have to add water. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to clarify that, guys, that on day three hair, I did not have any flakes because I added water to refresh on day two. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm so sorry that I don't have the footage. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps, and you enjoy. Bye!